Welcome back to Boat McGrill. My name is Tony and today it's another episode of taking care of the roof. Uh, the last week it's been ups and downs. Uh, I realized that there is a certain area on the roof that is uh, like deeper than the rest of it. Something happened when I fiberglassed the opening that was in the roof earlier. So it's kind of deeper. Uh, I have a solution of that. I'm gonna put in a couple of layers of fiberglass in that area and then fair a bit. I also have to fair up for the last couple of uh, layers on the inside uh, because there is difference in heights in the roof. Here we have a little bit of a height difference. If you want to support me and the channel, please subscribe and hit the little subscription button down to the, on your right side. I've also set up a Patreon account. Patreon is a way to help video developers here on YouTube to get a little bit of, of cash in to buy like new cameras and stuff and like for this project. Uh, if you want to help and support me a little bit, Make sure to check the Patreon, you can find a link down in the description. If you think the channel is good enough, I would be very happy if you support me with uh, whatever you can. Okay, since uh, this is actually the inside of the roof, I'm going to uh, uh, use polyester on the inside. On the outside I used epoxy. Uh, and I will keep using epoxy on the outside because I want it as weatherproof as possible. But in this case, on this on the inside, I don't count on too much uh, moisture or water stuff coming in here. So uh, I will use polyester here mostly because of econ economical reasons. So I'm gonna first wipe off this surface. I've cut out uh, three pieces that I wanna lay in here. Uh, they are gradually smaller. The first one is bigger, then smaller and smaller uh, by a few centimeters in every direction. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I'm thinking about actually putting a uh, mix of thickener and polyester f as the first layer uh, because I need something to come into these grooves. Uh, so I think I'll start out like that, but first we'll wipe it off with some acetone.
I worked in the three layers of 300 grams of, of weave here with polyester. I'm uh, going to let this sit for uh, a day. I'm going to take down my heating tent here and get it warmed up. And then uh, coming back in in a day or two and uh, fairing the rest of this area and actually start to level off so that uh, I can put the last four or five layers of uh, polyester. So that's the plan. Uh, now I cut this movie here and we are back in two seconds. Oh, by the way, did I remind you about hitting the little subscription button down here on the right and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that I'm putting up? Make sure and check out the Patreon account I talked about earlier in the movie. See you tomorrow. I put in this uh, pieces of uh, birch wood here. Uh, birch plywood because I needed something to screw in the, the the windows. This is the roof. You turn it upside on the other side and then uh, uh, you put it on the top of the windscreens and then you screw the windscreens to the roof. Uh, that's why you have the supports over here. Uh, I cut this support. This is the support is just it's about this long. Uh, I got this, the rest of the piece laying around. I'm going to glue that back. And then as you see up there, you have the same thing over here that needs to be put back. That you screw in the windscreens too. I did glue it in here with uh, thick and epoxy. And uh, it's cured pretty well overnight. Yeah, I've sanded it down so it's pretty flush. The thing that I now have left to do here is actually put some uh, thickened polyester resin so they I get it into these uh, scorings here it's better to have them filled what I've read and I will fare a bit up here too there's still a little bit of uh, sinking here uh, I've sanded this surface down it's pretty flush like most everywhere except a little bit here but mostly over here that I will take care of with some uh, epoxy fairing uh, later on before I put on the uh, layer of paint on the outside I also need to uh, fair these edges here I'm gonna do that with thickened polyester too reason why I use thickened polyester now more than I use uh, epoxy resin there's actually two reasons one of the reasons is that it's the epoxy is way more expensive and I don't like to mix up uh, uh, laminating resin epoxy laminating resin to do fairing uh, I can actually really use pre uh, pre-mixed fairing for that you can do almost the same thing with a with a polyester thickened polyester and since this is the inside of the roof remember this is the inside of the roof this is going to be turned upside down I don't think that I need to have epoxy on the inside I actually put a couple of uh, as you remember in a couple of movies ago you can see it up here I put in a couple of layers of 300 grams by actual with epoxy resin on the under this foam also when I turn this upside down when I when I'm done on this side I'm gonna do some fairing and uh, sanding to get a shape of the roof really good on the uh, outside and also gonna put uh, at least one layer of uh, fiberglass with epoxy resin there to get a really really good uh, outer surface more about that later what I need to do right now is to mix up the the polyester resin and uh, fair, uh, thicken it up a bit fair all these strange ed places around here do the fairing up here make sure that all these scorings are fared and also the edge down here I need to fair
the heating tent is up as you can see the fans are going and uh, the polyester is starting to get cured uh, I had a little bit of problem I don't know why uh, maybe it's been temperatures and humidity been going up and down a little bit here in Sweden right now uh, what I actually thinking I read something about that the brand of polyester that I use might vary in quality uh, I had the fairing I did uh, on the big surface around the middle part actually didn't cure in, in 48 hours they usually cure way faster <coughs> I haven't had any problems earlier I know I mixed enough hardener in there uh, now I have have this heating tent going for six eight hours starting to get a little bit more cured so that might be the problem but when we come back next week I'm gonna give you a little brief update on how that ended up I hope that will be good I also put in I can't show it right now but I also laid one layer of uh, 300 grams weave with polyester on the areas where I put in the wood also on the on the edge where where I did uh, uh, measure out where I'm gonna have the supports for the windscreens and the front side so that's the only issue I have right now and um, I hope you enjoyed this week's work next week hopefully we will go into putting in the last four or five layers of fiberglass and polyester to cover the foam and get this side of the roof actually done so we can turn it over and start fi finalizing the outer side some fairing and stuff as I hinted earlier uh, please go and check out the uh, Patreon page there's actually two tiers now two choices if you want to support the channel also today I'm ordered some some stickers with a logo on and uh, that will be for those that that goes for a little bit higher tiers they will get uh, some stickers and stuff uh, it will take about a week for me to get them I will show them here on the channel as soon as they are done yeah make sure to hang on join me next week and take care everyone